Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to continue our studying. This time we are going to talk about commissions. So commission, that's the amount of money that's made from selling an item. Note, commission is found by multiplying the rate or commission rate by the amount of sales. So we're going to be in the selling of items today. So here's Kay, and she says she made commission, a 10% commission on her sales of $400. She wants to know how much is that. So it's important to know how much money you make for yourself and for your family. So we're going to take her sales, which was $400, and we're going to multiply that by the commission rate, which is 10%, because that's how much money she'll get off of the sales, just 10% of her sales. So $400 was the sales. She'll get 10% of that amount. Of is another way of saying multiply, so that's a good word to know. So when we multiply 10% times 400, we get 40. So her commission amount would be $40. I would like to show you a shortcut to get $40 by using the 400 real quick by showing you how to remove the decimal point and divide it by 10. So since we were moving the decimal point to the left, because when you divide by 10, that's moving the decimal place one point. That's called the 10% rule. So this would give us 40.0. Which is just 40 over 40 dollars. So that's our 10 percent rule. When we move the decimal point one place to the left, that's moving it in 10 percent because the decimal point is at the end. To move it in just one space to the left, that's called dividing it by 10 or the 10 percent rule, taking 10 percent of the number. So we're multiplying it by 10 percent. That's a shortcut method. So 10% of 400 is 40. So that's a nice shortcut you may want to pick up. Here's another question. Here we have Diana, and she's selling houses. She said, I sold the home for $500,000. I earned 15% commission. How much? money is that? So we want to know how much money would Diana earn in commission. So she's selling her home for a commission rate at a commission rate of 15 percent. So let's get my calculator out. So let's clear this out of there. So five hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Half a million dollars. It's five zeros, and she gets 15% of, and of means times. So 15% times that amount, and that'll give you how much Diana gets, and she gets a nice amount for herself. $75,000 is what Diana will get. And I'm going to show you that 10% rule one more time. And one, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna show you that 10% rule that I was talking about. Again, move it over one place for 10%. That'll give you 50,000. Let's just write it five zero zero 
five went one, two, three, four zeros. Four zeros. And decimal point at the end. Let's stretch that out a little bit. So there would be that number. So shoot, so fifty thousand would be ten percent. So this equals ten percent. What I'm getting at is this is equal to ten percent. Fifty thousand equals ten percent. Notice Diana earned fifteen percent. Well, ten percent is close, but I need another five percent to get to the fifteen percent. So I need an additional five percent because ten percent plus 15%, 10% plus 5% is 15%. So if I notice half of 10 is 5%. So half of 10% is 5%. So I'm going to take half of the 50,000, which is 25,000. And that'll give me the 5%. Or if I multiplied 5% times 50,000, that'll give me uh, 25,000. So by going by the ratios and proportions that we've talked about some time ago in our other videos, I'm just comparing these two. So now 10% plus 5%, that's 15%. So I can add out 50,000 plus 25,000 and that'll give me 75,000. So my answer will be 75,000 again. So my commission is my sales times the rate, whereas 500,000 times 15% equals 75,000, which is what we did up here. So our commission would be a nice $75,000. But I like the 10% method and the 15% method because that way I didn't have to type anything in the calculator. All I really did was just move my decimal point. So that's another way of dealing with it. So you may want to try that in your spare time. We do that in the next grade called the 15% and 10% method, 510 method. So check your understanding. I hope you got something out of it. If you have questions, please watch the video again, but write down your questions so we can answer them tomorrow. Here's a nice question that we'll pick up tomorrow about old Gil, the car salesman. He received a commission of one twelfth of the sales price of the car for which he sells. What would be the com sales commission be on a car that he sold to Homer Simpson for $21,999. So how much would old Gil get? Oh, that's a nice question. I see Homer's driving his nice car. So I hope you got something out of it. Remember, write down your questions. And if you uh, want, you can rewatch the video, and I'll be glad to answer anything you have on tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.